decided to be here with me today. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Kenyatta here and today we are talking about three things that everyone with locks needs to know. Number one, don't allow a lot of people to do your hair, okay? Stick to that one person that you trust. A loctician, your auntie, mama, sister, cousin. If you have one person who knows what they're doing and you trust them to do your hair, then stick to that one person because they know your hair, okay? If not, do your hair yourself. Shameless plug, knowledge for days, right here on Earth Flags by Kenyatta. And just to state the obvious, if you let a lot of different people do your hair, you're gonna your hair's gonna break off. Everyone's not the same. No one person does hair the same. So definitely keep that in mind when you are, you know, letting people do your hair. Try to stick to that one person or two people or yourself, boo-boo. Okay, don't want a lot of people put their hands in your head because Ain't nobody got time for that, okay? We don't have time for our hair breaking off, you can't? <laughs> Number two, avoid popping your locks, okay? This might sound crazy to some of you guys, but hear me out real quick. Each one of your locks has individual hair strands that are assigned to that particular lock. So when you're retwisting your hair and you're separating your hair at the root, if you come across hair strands that you feel like you have to tug on, pull on, or you're even thinking about popping them, pump your brakes because nine times out of 10, that particular hair strand does not belong to that lock. If you have to force the hair into the lock, it doesn't belong there. So just keep that in mind when you're doing a retwist that whatever hair strands belong to that particular lock, it will enter the lock with ease and you will be able to separate it from the rest of the hair strands with ease. You won't have to pull on it, okay? Like I said, every lock has individual hair strands that are assigned to that particular lock. I don't mean to be so meticulous about it, but it's a fact and I have to put it out there, okay? This is something everyone with locks should know and it's a great way to avoid thinning and number three locks. never trim the sides of your locks if you are a beautiful person who desires uniform locks go ahead do yourself a favor and start your locks off with comb coils and keep your maintenance routine a actual routine you know you want to start your locks off with comb coils and maintenance once a month okay now in the beginning stages like what that that day one to one year mark you might want to retwist every three weeks two to three weeks you can even go a month but I would say in the first day one to six months you definitely want to be retwisting every two weeks or every three weeks. After that, you could probably stretch it to a month. But if you desire those uniform locks, do not try to achieve that by like trimming the side of your hair. You will be damaging your locks and it will lead to thinning. If you locks. have some okay. tips for everyone out here in Lock Nation, things that they should know in their knower, <laughs> drop that knowledge down below so that we all can be informed on what we should do. Things we should know to grow our locks long, okay? And keep them strong. Hit the like button, turn on your notifications so that you never miss a video from your girl. Subscribe, share this video wherever you share cool stuff. Any locticians you know, anyone you know with locks, share the love, okay? So that we all can grow, okay? I'm your girl Kenyatta here. See you in the next video. Y'all know I brought my child a long way, right? You better know it. It's your girl Kenyatta here. Peace.